400 hertz, right? You are perceiving it at 400 hertz, correct? But if it moves towards you, did the frequency go up? Yes, a little bit. What does it depend on? I'll just, just turn the volume down for a second. What does the frequency that you hear depend on? Direction of motion. Direction of motion and how fast I do it, right? The amount of speed, you see it's linked this link, I have to relink it again, right? The speed, right, is going to affect the frequency you hear. So if I now take this, and let's loop this in proper, okay, somehow I'm going to have to edit the video that you're making. change as much. Correct? The question is, is this. This is 400 hertz. Correct? There is a maximum frequency and a minimum frequency. How would we work out what those maximum and minimum values are? How could I work that out? What would I need to know in order to work out that maximum and that minimum? The speed. the speed. Correct? So if I know the speed of how fast this is moving towards you, that's going to be your maximum. If I know the speed when it's moving away from you, that's going to be your minimum. When it's going across this way, as it turns in a circle, it will be 400 hertz, because it's not moving towards you or away from you. Second, okay? How would I measure the speed, though, of this object spinning? How would I measure the speed of this? <coughs> Any idea? Here's my question. Can you work out the path that this goes in a circle? Yeah. So what do I have in terms of the circle? What term do we have? Yeah, what's that distance that it travels? The circumference. And the circumference is the distance it travels in one circle. But if I then know how long it takes to do one complete loop, are you with me? Then I have the period. And the circumference divided by the period is what? The distance divided by the time. It's the speed. And if you know the speed, you can use the Doppler shift formula to work out the frequency that's high and the frequency that is low. And how would we measure the time accurately with this? Speed, speed per... Yeah, now the circumference can be worked out by simply the radius multiplied by pi multiplied by 2, 2 pi r. But the time to take one loop is really quick, isn't it? Yes? So what would you do to do it be more reliable? Set time and how many rotations. Yes. Measure how many get around for let's say 10 seconds or measure the time it takes to do 10 <coughs> revolutions. Got that? Then you get the period. 2 pi r divided by t gives you the velocity and then the velocity allows you to work out the frequency above and below. Alright, got that?